Hello, everyone. This is Joe, otherwise known as The Little Bean on Instagram and TikTok. And I am excited to share that I will be starting a YouTube channel. So I thought this would be a great place for me to go a little more in depth on um, the bags that I have, give my thoughts, give reviews. So hopefully this information is helpful to you. Uh, please like and subscribe as uh, I really hope that I'm able to build this out and get the word out to people. Uh, and also in the comments, please let me know what type of information you want me to build uh, from here. I have a, kind of a structure I've come up with that I plan to use for all of my bag reviews so that there's a consistent comparison across the board. Uh, so I feel like the sky's the limit. I'm really excited. Uh, just a heads up, you'll really only be seeing my hands. Um, I'm pretty shy about showing my face on here, um, but I was inspired to use this type of format um, from fellow uh, creator, uh, Hello Catwalk City. She's one of my favorites. I love watching her channel, so definitely check her out if you haven't already, but I will be taking a similar approach of just kind of showing you the bags, um, focusing on these pieces here, um, and less on, on me. So without further ado, let's talk about this bag here. Uh, this is the Ophidia Super Mini. Um, it's shaped very similarly to um, the LV Nano Speedy. Um, it is the uh, Boston style, I guess, is another way that we've heard of it. Um, this is relatively new to the collection from what I have seen. Um, I had seen the mini size. It comes in other sizes. I think it's mini and small um, are some of the other sizes that they have, but this is definitely the tiniest. Okay, so I'll show you some close-up details of the bag as well as the interior. Uh, and real quick before I forget, uh, just note that this bag is available on the Gucci website. If you are interested in purchasing, I'll include a link in uh, my caption below. It's also available, um, my link is available on my link tree um, if you're on IG or TikTok. Um, just note that the link is affiliate through my Shop LTK account. Um, so if you do purchase through my link, you will be supporting my account and I'd greatly appreciate it. But otherwise you can look it up. It's the, like I said, the Super Affidia mini bag. Okay, so some of the details um, to keep an eye on. Uh, they just do a really good job, like the, the glazing on the handles. Um, they do have the little um, Gucci, sorry, my fingerprints are on this Gucci um, on the zip tab. The stitching looks very nice and straight. And um, you know, all the lining up of everything is even, which I always look for when I'm purchasing my bags. All right, so taking a look at the interior. So the interior is um, pretty spacious given the size and because zipper goes down, uh, you can really stretch it open. It's got like a canvas material on the inside the little logo tag, and then there is a date code tag over there. Um, and it does have a little key ring here, which I'll mention later. Uh, don't, I don't really use it, but it is nice to have that there. Oh, and it looks like you can remove it actually now that I look at it. Yep. So the first thing I want to cover is the price. Uh, so this is currently 1400 on the Gucci website, which is where I purchased mine. Uh, that pricing is, in my eyes, uh, pretty reasonable, and obviously reasonable is a subjective term, but I'm comparing it to the price of other bags of similar size, such as the Nano Speedy, which I believe retails right now for $1,700 or more, depending on the material that you uh, buy in that bag. Uh, this one also um, has leather pieces on it, um, but it's uh, protected leather versus fresh fichetta. Uh, and so we'll go into the pros and cons, but I just did want to give you a heads up on the price um, as you consider whether or not this is something you'd want to add to your collection. So some of the features of the bag, uh, these straps here are actually removable or adjustable, which I love. 
Um, we'll go into more of that later. Um, so it's the classic Ophidia with the Gucci canvas and the classic Gucci webbing. This does come in the uh, white. Um, I don't know what the exact name of it is, but it does come in other colorways other than this classic one. Um, this is kind of that classic grayish brown uh, leather, and it does uh, have the bottom panel here, the Gucci emblem here, uh, and then it goes all the way around the back. Um, the corners are rounded, which is nice, so hopefully the wear of this bag will um, be pretty good. I know whenever there's sharp edges on canvas, that's often recipe for disaster down the road. The next thing I want to show is the measurement. So I have my, I don't know where I got this, but tell me, is this not the cutest thing? Um, okay, sorry, I digress. Okay, so across it is roughly, and these are just very rough estimates, um, about a little over six and a half, maybe six and three quarters um, in length, in width, I'll go with the bottom of the bag. About three and a half. And then height, about four. So it is a small bag for sure. And especially when I first saw it, because I did go to the store to look at it bef um, beforehand. And it just, it kind of shocks you with how small it is. Um, but don't be deceived. It can pack a punch. Um, and it's actually uh, bigger than when you compare it to other sized bags that I have. So let me bring out the most, the closest comparison, I would say, which is uh, the Louis Vuitton Nano Speedy. So this is the vintage one. This is the Speedy HL, I think it's called, or the Mini Speedy HL, but it is comparable in size to the um, current Nano Speedy. So as you can see, they are pretty darn close in size at first glance, but when you take a closer look, um, the Gucci Ophidia is actually a sizable amount bigger. Um, you can see especially here in that girth and the fact that it's more um, consistent in size all over the top, whereas this one does curve at the top. So the amount you can fit in this top portion is more limited. You can see here. Now, another difference is um, the zipper, as you probably are already noticing. The zipper on this um, Ophidia Super Mini goes all the way down here to the sides, which does allow you to open the bag more. Whereas on the Speedy, um, don't mind me, I have it stuffed. Um, you know, you're limited in how far that you can really stretch this bag. Now the material on this bag is far softer. Um, the canvas is thinner than um, the canvas of this Gucci bag. So um, that does allow some flexibility when you're shoving stuff in here. And don't get me wrong, if you've seen any of my What's in My Bags on this Speedy Nano, um, it packs a punch as well. Um, but I did test everything I'm going to show you that went into this bag, and this one could not fit at all. It was close, but there were, I think, like one or two things that couldn't fit. So um, in terms of size comparison, for those that are worried that this one is super tiny, it is. I mean, I am a tiny bag girl. You all know that from my um, platforms. But um, if you are able to use this uh, Speedy Nano and you find that it fits everything you need, you'll have no trouble with the um, Super Mini Ophidia. Okay, so the next thing that I want to uh, show is what fits. And I've debated about this because I don't want to cannibalize on um, what I'm showing on Instagram, but I figured for people that might just be finding me on YouTube and might not want to stop what they're doing and go check it out on the on the Instagram page, I will do a very, I'll do a quick what's in my bag here where I will just take everything out of the bag. Um, but I'm not going to show what's in all of the little pouches and all of those things. Um, you can kind of get that full effect from um, 
my Instagram account. And I'll probably end up also posting the what's in my bag um, content as, as YouTube shorts as well. So hopefully all these companion pieces will come together for the full picture. All right, so what fits? So um, everything shown in here is what I actually show in my reel. Um, and as you can see right up the front, uh, my phone does fit in here. Now I am filming on my iPhone 14 Pro, um, but I kept my, um, this is the iPhone 11 Pro that's in here and they are roughly the same size. So, um, and I can confirm I've slipped my 14 Pro in here with no issue as well. I am also able now to show whether or not the Pro um, 15 fits in um, because my husband got one for work. And so um, I'll be able to show whether or not a, um, the large Max, the Pro Max, fits in all of the bags that I have. I know I get that question a lot. So let's go ahead and take everything out. So this will also help show how easy it is to get stuff out of the bags because I often get comments of, you know, you're gonna have to take everything out or it's gonna be really hard to get things in and out. Um, don't get me wrong, it is snug in here, yes, but it's actually not too bad to slip stuff out. There is still some wiggle room. And like I said, because the zipper goes all the way down on the sides, it's not, it's not too difficult to uh, grab things. So the first thing I wanna snag is my phone. So this phone case is from Amazon. It allows you to customize your initials on it. It's really nice, I like it. Um, so that's my phone. All right, the next thing I have in here is one of my favorite SLGs for my mini bags. This is the Celine, I think it's the coin and card case. Then I have my Ophidia card case. This was actually from the men's collection. I haven't seen it lately and so I'm worried it might have been discontinued. I absolutely love this thing because it is so darn flat. Okay, um, so next I've got my comb and my Dior mirror, which it's, it's filthy, so I'm not gonna really hold it. But this came on a luggage, uh, luggage tag set. I get asked about this all the time. So um, this was the silver gift um, from Dior Beauty a while ago. And um, it came, it's actually a luggage tag. That's why there's a little um, hole here for you to put your luggage tag through. And, um, it's a great set. It's super flat and it came with like a mirror and nail polish too, but I use this mirror all the time just cause it is so flat. It's cute. It's like, um, easy to use. So I don't ever have to worry about it. Um, you know, getting too damaged. So I do love that. I see them on eBay all the time. So often on my shop LTK, I'll link the set if I can find it for people. Um, I think it would be worth buying since it isn't available on the Dior site since they change their um, gifts with purchase often, but I would recommend buying it if you're in the market for like a super thin mirror. This comb I got from Amazon. Um, it's just super flat. There's nothing really special about it, but I just like having a comb on me. Uh, so that's that. Okay. All right. So then I have one of my other favorite, favorite SLGs. This is um, still available from what I saw. Um, it is the Gucci playing card set. So actually this thing comes with a deck of cards that fits perfectly in here for the super bougie person that needs a fancy case for their playing cards. <laughs> I don't. So I actually haven't even unwrapped the playing cards because I just wanted this case. I saw this believe the first time I saw it was Minx for All, who, oh my goodness, I am a huge fan of her account. Definitely check her out um, if you haven't already. But she had gotten this and showed just how much can fit in this little case. I absolutely love the shape. I love the size. Um, this one is $350, which I think is pretty reasonable. You can make it into a wristlet by just clipping a uh, um, wristlet chain here, which I, sh I show examples of what can fit in here in my Instagram account. And I'll put some of um, those reels up in my YouTube shorts as well. So definitely check it out. All right, now I just have some smaller items. My travel Chanel perfume. All right. And then I have some lippies and then gum because you always need gum. So now let's see, this is the 
Pro Max. And I mean, my husband has like the most like dude version of a phone case. So it's super bulky. Um, so if this can fit, it can fit. But um, I don't think it's going to. I'm just going to give you a heads up. But maybe I'll be surprised. Oh, uh, yeah, it's so close. But um, it's it's not going to fit, guys. Um, so for all you Pro Max folks out there, I'm really sorry, but this might not be the bag for you. Um, but you can always hold it in your hand. You can put it in your pocket, put it in your coat pocket. Um, but that's definitely not going to fit. All right. So let's talk now about the pros and cons of the bag. I would say one of the first pros is, you guys, it's adorable. Like <laughs> this is just so cute for mini bag lovers this is just this is it it's just cute it's super cute um i would also say that for people that are petite um in small and frame uh, this is a great option i am i'm pretty small and i find that certain bags just swallow me whole so like the pochette matisse just looks huge on me and so i've i've loved being able to find smaller bags like this that are more proportionate to my body. That said, I think personally, um, I've seen this on um, the models and other um, people of various shapes and sizes. I think this is an adorable, ba adorable bag on anyone. But for me personally, this is a pro that it is so small because um, I think it does like look good um, when I wear it, especially as a crossbody. Um, so again, another pro that I wanted to note, um, I've already mentioned is just the fact that the zipper goes down on the sides, um, because it really does allow for you to open this a lot wider than, um, the speedy nano, which I love the nano. And like I said, the nano can fit a ton, but sometimes it's really hard to get stuff out like my phone and things like that. I really don't have issues with that, with this bag. Um, I would also say that uh, the structure of the bag is a, is a pro. It, it's not as squishy as the um, Nano Speedy. I know I keep comparing it to that, but I mean, come on, guys. Like, that's, the, that's the closest comparison, right? So because of this leather tab at the bottom, I think that plays a role in it. And just overall, the canvas is just thicker. Like, I just think that Gucci canvas is just, it's just thicker. So to me, it, it is Better. I don't know if that's an unpopular opinion, but, um, you know, this bag is structured. It stays structured. There's nothing in it right now, and it still keeps its shape, and I do really like that about this bag. Um, and then finally, the other pro I would say is just the fact that um, the uh, straps here are removable. Um, you just take it off of this little gold tab here and you can take it off and just wear it as a top handle bag. Or, you know, if you wanted to switch it up and add a gold chain or, you know, wear it in different ways. I love when bags have straps that can be removable so I can choose personally how I want to wear it. And I feel like it gives me more um, flexibility and freedom to use my bags and get like the full wear out of them. All right. So some cons. Um, one of the things that does bug me a little bit, well, okay. The first thing that really bugs me is how hard it is to get these things off. If you've noticed, that's why I haven't actually shown you how to get them off yet, but for some reason they have this little, um, this little loop here to keep it in place, but like, oh my goodness, like maybe I'm doing it wrong. Somebody tell me, but like, you have to really like yank here eventually. And then it like eventually pops off. Like, I don't even want to do it right now and break a nail on here, but like it will pop off, but it's just, it's such a pain to get on and off, which really bothers me. But I also just intend to always wear it as a crossbody, And I like the look of this strap. So I don't think I'm ever really often going to pop it off, except <sighs> the only thing I would say is like when I store the bag, I would have preferred, I like to take the straps off and, and roll them up and put them inside. So what I might end up doing when I store this bag is keeping it open and then just tucking the strap in this way so I don't have to take it off because it really is like a true pain. It's definitely a pro that you can take them off, but man, like they don't want you to take it off because um, it, it can get kind of annoying if you wanted to like take it off and on often. Um, another thing that I would say is a slight con is just the zipper. The zipper is a little, um, 
it's not like buttery smooth. Like I would say, so I have my nano here still like this zipper. Um, and I mean, this is vintage, but like the zipper is just like really nice and smooth. Um, this one, because it curves on the side, I think what happens is that when, um, if you squeeze it and the zipper gets too close to each other, it makes it hard for it to zip shut. Um, so it's not terrible, it's not impossible, but like even here, like you can kind of see sometimes if it's like squished in just the wrong way, um, it is sometimes hard to shut. Now that said, because the bag is shaped the way it is, like even if you have your bag open a bit, like stuff really probably isn't gonna fall out of it, especially if you're wearing it as a crossbody. Uh, but I will just know it is something that I've noticed about this one. I have other bags with zippers that, um, in my Gucci bags that aren't quite as, um, just are smoother than this. Um, it's not terrible, but I'm kind of pulling and grasping for cons here because I personally love this bag, but I would say that is something that is a little, um, a little hard, but again, for me, it's, it's it's not a huge deal breaker for me. Those are the only cons I can think of. The price is debatable as whether or not you think it's a pro or a con. It's all about what you compare it to. Um, I don't, and it is, it does fit more, I would argue, than the, um, the Marmont, the super mini Marmont. And I know the Marmont's cheaper um, and it's leather, but you know, again, it depends on what you're valuing. If you're looking at the price, if you're looking at the materials, if you're looking at the size and the capacity, all of those types of things are subjective. So I'm just trying to share all the information with you. Um, right after I say I'm trying to be objective though, I'm going to tell you my overall final thoughts. So you know, spoiler alert, I love this bag. I, I just, when I saw it, um, I knew I was going to buy it. I knew it was just a matter of time. Um, I think that it is extremely well made. Um, I think that the um, construction of the bag is really good. It's solid. It looks like it will wear very well. It's adorable. It fits everything I need and more. The things that I often show in my What's in My Bag, I'll just let you all in on a little secret since this is you are the first ones to see my YouTube video. Um, I don't usually carry half of the stuff that I show in my What's in My Bag Reels. I show that much stuff for my What's in My Bag Reels really just to show the full capacity of what can fit. But on a regular basis, I'm carrying um, a card holder, some sort of key pouch, and then a very small um, an SLG to carry all like my odds and ends, and then two lippies. That's typically what I have in my bags. I don't even usually carry my phone in my bags. Anyway, this fits everything I want and more. It's adorable. Clearly, well, if you've seen my um, Instagram account, my TikTok account, you'll know I'm obsessed with the Ophidia line. Uh, it's basically the only Gucci line I have in my collection other than one Marmont bag. Um, so when I saw it, I knew I was going to get it. Uh, I would personally recommend it for sure, even with the many um, bits of cons that I had shared. Um, but I'm curious what everyone else thinks. So uh, let me know your thoughts. And if you have any questions of anything else about this bag that you want to know in the comments below, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was informative. Um, I'm excited to make more content here on YouTube. So definitely um, let me know what you think. And I hope you enjoy. Until the next one. Bye, guys.